I'm very fortunate to be a pastor here at St. Austin's because this is an excellent uh, congregation to preach to. Because preaching is really a two-way street, you know. You get a lot of feedback from people verbally and non-verbally. I was told when you come to St. Austin's, you have to really bring your A game for preaching because the people of St. Austin's are not going to settle for a mediocre homily. To me, the Paulists are the best preachers. I learn something every time I listen to a homily here. I've had this experience where somebody will say to me, I liked your homily. I'll ask what they liked about it. They'll tell me something very beautiful, but I had never said it. With a great diversity of personalities among them, and yet they have that one spirit of breaking the word open in scripture. It's a confirmation, and it means the Holy Spirit is at work when they hear something that they've added something that I never even intended. St. Austin's has this real diversity. I'm told that we have parishioners who come from 60 different zip codes. We could easily go to three other churches, but the reason that we continue to drive up into Central Austin is because of the Paulist. We don't live in the zip code, but we were drawn to this parish by our daughter who shared with us the beauty of the spirit of this parish. People who are young and old, people of various economic backgrounds. We have some very wealthy people and we have some homeless people and people everywhere in between. But it's a very, very diverse parish. Certainly for this area, we receive a number of students from other countries and so forth. There is a graduate and young professional group that you can join like for ages right after college to just below 40. And it's just a great way to meet new people and to meet younger people. Because we are so close to the state capitol and to the university, we have a real political diversity of people, both quite conservative and quite liberal. And so it's really beautiful to see all these people come together, join hands and praise God together. We joined the outreach team, the Thursday morning outreach team, and neither Kevin nor I had ever done anything like that before. What we do is we serve underserved people. Our focus has been on helping families in need of rental assistance, utility assistance. And then we also have a very successful Gabriel Project program, which helps women uh, who are pregnant. We provide emotional, educational, spiritual, and material support for all the families. Women with problem pregnancies, tying together as we really should do more of, tying together with our pro-life sensitivities, with our pro-poor sensitivities. Not that there's any division, should be any division. It's really one seamless garment of, of, uh, of life. It's just a very family-oriented, welcoming um, religious community here, and the Paulus priests are fabulous. Completely by accident, the job came. I say accident. Something very special happened that caused me to wind up here. The condition of the development of our, our, our buildings, of our property, uh, is that we had to be relocated. And my relocation is in what is what commonly called the mechanical room of the church. I have all my tools, all my equipment. Any given day, everything I'm asked to do comes out of this room. This is a place that's known for its liturgy and its music. The parish was founded over 100 years ago, and most of the buildings were built either before 1950 or uh, around 1950. Because the buildings were aging and getting worse and worse physically, we realized that we really needed to do something about it. We're in the middle of a four-year plan that will redevelop all of our ministry spaces, a new rectory, the ability to double the current existing school. The school used to be in buildings that were located directly behind the church across from the alley. 
but because those buildings need to be knocked down and rebuilt, we cannot continue to hold school there. We relocated our entire school away from our parish, St. Austin's Parish, and we're here now on the San Jose Parish um, campus. Um, we're so fortunate to be still within a Catholic community, but we, we desperately miss being next to our parish and seeing our priests every day and having them a part of our community. So we're blessed when they do still come for classroom visits and for our Friday masses. At St. Austin's, I have the, the privilege of doing ministry throughout the life cycle. I think it's a great uh, church to start at as a young priest because I get to see um, all different aspects of people's lives. For example, we have a K through eight school, so we have a weekly mass with uh, the children. I have two boys here at St. Austin Catholic School, uh, one in fourth and one in pre-K four, who love seeing uh, Father Chuck or Father Rich or Father Paolo uh, come into their classrooms. They uh, share the excitement that they generate, uh, the music that they play, the stories that they tell. What this community has been able to do in terms of people coming together working very hard on planning and figuring this out, and making the commitment to make this happen, really has already been a quite remarkable accomplishment. The generations of uh, Catholic school children have uh, work played out here. In fact, tomorrow this last use of this space will happen with the blessing of animals. So this was our courtyard. They're tearing down all these buildings here. Some time ago there was a fundraising effort for the parish where people could have their name put on a brick and then the brick put it here in the courtyard. All those bricks have since been pulled up. A lot of people came and took bricks with their family name on them, and the rest have been stored away at a parishioner's home in case somebody wants them later on. When we had the final close up, people were able to write things on the wall. This was the largest gathering and meeting space that we had, our new hall will be several times larger than this one. There is something special about this community. There are people here both who are very, very talented and extremely generous. This is a place where when you walk in, you're going to be greeted with a smile. I've never been so welcomed by strangers in my life in any community. They have taught me so much and had me grow in my faith because of their faith in God.